All right, Am Portion. Today, I am very excited because we are joined by a country a singer, song, a writer. Some of you may know him from his time on Quebec hit show La Voix. Some of you may know him from his massive touring schedule that he took on before everything shut on down. And some of you are about to know him by his day view single that is coming out right away by the time you're hearing this it's already out it's entitled looking like that and our guest today is tommy charles how's it going today tommy hey colton doing fantastic thank you thank you i I wouldn't i wouldn't expect it a better introduction than than yours thanks man hey hey we gotta bring the hype right (laughs) it was great it was a memory thanks a lot Hey, fantastic. Uh, Glad that I could do that. Hey, and I'm uh, glad that you could join us here today to dive behind this uh, new debut single. And uh, of course, it's been quite the road to get here. And this song, it is a it's a burner, man. You are hitting the trail running on this one. You are kicking up the dust. So I need to know when exactly does the tale of looking like that begin for one Tommy Charles? Well, it uh. It began about a year ago. Now I was I was working my day job in Quebec, and then the phone rang, and for some reason my mom was the one to get the call from my music label, Crank Media, a Vancouver-based label, and because of a bunch of different reasons, my ex-manager talked to her and she talked to me and whatever. So she called me home and she. She told me that I had this, that record company that wanted to talk to me and offer me a record deal out of the blue, totally out of the blue. Like I was working as a high school teacher back then. It's a job I had to take because of the pandemic. And so, uh, yeah, so I sat there in the living room. I, you know, I, I bawled, bawled out crying basically. And yeah, and so I, I went. I went to BC. I met my team, and then the the song's producer, Mr. Mitch Merritt, who's a um, BC native guy who lives in uh, amazing dude who lives in um, Langley. You know, he uh, he worked his contacts, and he found a song from a bunch of his friends in uh, in Nashville, and so um, it was written by um, Drake Milligan. Jim Beavers and Derek Rutten, and I fell in love with it instantly. And uh, yeah, we got the songs, we did the vocals, and uh, and here we are. Now we're uh, we're uh, we're setting on an adventure. Oh wow! So it was Mr. Uh, Mitch Merritt, the producer, who uh, figured, hey, this might be a uh, the a good song for my buddy here, Tommy Charles. Then yeah, yeah, he had the. Uh, he had the inner voice, the instinct for it. Hey, awesome, awesome. And of course, you mentioned uh, you went to Vancouver all the way from Quebec. Was that your first time being here on the West Coast? Yeah, last fall was my first time. And uh, I guess it's true what they say about us. Easterners. When we uh, when we get there, we don't want to go back. And now as we're talking, I'm planning to, to move to BC permanently, or I mean for for as long as time will allow. So yeah, it's worked its charm on me and, and yeah, here I am. <laughs> hey, wow. Well, it sounds like it's uh, working out for you. Got a record deal, worked with a uh, gold certified producer in uh, one Mitch Merritt. So of course, what was the uh, recording process like for this track for you? Well, we, uh, we went, um, we went to Armory Studios first with, with the band, a bunch of great dudes. If uh, like uh, they, we had a great time. It was a two or three day session, and then we cut the vocals. We also uh, we also did some vocals in in other languages, which I'm not going to reveal today because it's a surprise for the future. We're releasing the song in in English now, but. It might reappear somewhere sometime in the future. 
And so, yeah, so great, great time with the band and then some vocals at, at, at Mitch's studio in Langley. And then, yeah, it was, um, it was um, mastered by uh, Baritone Studios. I think those, these guys are located in Ontario, but I'm not sure. So, uh, yeah. And now, you know, we're, we're, we're waiting for the release. Oh, no, well, we've released the song already. <laughs> but having the interview but uh yeah so uh first uh, the first baby steps have been done and now uh it's the world's about to hear here we go hey absolutely i mean we've already peeled back the curtain the fans know we're recording this interview before the song's actually been released but i already know this song is absolutely amazing i think it's gonna do fantastic things for you here so of course before uh we get too far into what it's like to release the song. I want to know what did you learn from Mitch while you were in the studio with him? Mitch is very, very committed to anything creative and artistic he does. He he uh he values the the creating the creation process a lot. Like he wants to take his time. He wants to make everything right. He wants to, um, I think he wants to honor all the artists that have participated in, in, in making this possible. Because like I was saying the other day, there's a world of people coming together for a song like this to actually, you know, be in the world for, 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 for you and me to hear, right? There's, there's a lot of like behind the scenes and there's a lot of people who who we have to pay tribute to. So um so um yeah, Mitch is one of those people who who's really uh devoted, dedicated and that's definitely something that I I admire from him and that I will take with me in the future. Yeah. Hey, hey, that's a that's a good lesson for sure. I like that. Of course, Like I was saying, one of the things that I want to know, I need to know, we've mentioned it. It's been a long road to finally releasing your debut single. It's almost here. What is that anticipation like for you, my friend? Well, it's it's, a new chapter for me. It's my first real real single, first record deal. It's, you know, like I've just taken a decision just made the decision to to move to bc so it's like you know like turning a page and like you know you read a book and you start a new chapter that's that's really how it feels for me it's like jump jumping into into the abyss (laughs) like it's 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 new it's 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 a leap of faith really so um but it's also something that i've always seen myself do and it was kind of I've, that I've always felt was my path or was going to be my path. So um, it also feels very natural and it feels, it feels pretty right down there. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. All right. Awesome. So, of course, we know that this is just the beginning. There's always a more on the way you mentioned you hinted towards that there might be a maybe some dual language things. Anyone who's seen you on social media knows you've been writing some own of your own music throughout the years is uh, well. So I presume you guys probably recorded more than just one track while you were in Vancouver, eh? It's true. You, you got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. We've got a bunch of, uh, of stuff now that we're, uh, you know, that we're just leaving in the oven for some time to, to keep warm but there's there's a lot coming up really so uh stay tuned mm, absolutely absolutely and the best way to do that go ahead and follow a tommy charles on your favorite music streaming service your favorite social media so that you can stay up to date with all of the things going on inside of his world right definitely definitely you know, you, you can find me on out there on on, on all the platform on, on all the socials. It's uh, I have a great team working 
me for me now and uh there's a bunch of uh great minds out there and and great architects who are really putting everything together making it very 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 beautiful and 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 pretty for y'all so um yeah stay tuned look it up you'll find me for sure and uh we'll be happy to have you on board Hey, absolutely. For sure. Of course, we hinted towards uh, some potential new music, a potential move to BC, a lot of exciting things going on. Uh, what else can you share about with us that the future might hold without giving away too much, of course? Well, there's, uh, there's a, possibly a duet. Uh, Coming up too in the near future, so uh, we'll see about it. There's um, there's some other songwriting projects that I want to set up in BC, creative spaces. Yeah, so I don't want to say too much, <laughs> like you know, it's, I got there's a lot of people working and you know putting in the big big work and efforts and all that, so I, I don't want to spoil anything, but. But yeah, lots of big surprises, lots of stuff that you, I don't think you've seen before and that we're really happy and proud to share. Hey, absolutely. And of course, you mentioned uh, the team behind everything, making sure that uh, Tommy Charles can hit the ground running as this world reopens here, making sure that you can make the most out of this music career. So what are some of the things that ramping up to doing exactly this, hitting the ground running. What are some of the things that that team at Crank Media has helped you to do that maybe you necessarily uh, wouldn't have thought of before? <laughs> well, I mean, there's, there's, there's just so much. There's, there's literally, it's a great, great team. It's a new team. It's a very energetic team. It's a passionate team. Lots of like big brains and, and, and super creative people out on the team. So, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of like a family. It's a community. It, it's just, just not possible to do all of that on your own. It's like you have a house or you have a, I don't know, like <laughs> some kind of a little village that you got to take care of. It's just there's just not enough time in one day to do all the chores and everything that has to be done. And so, and and there's a lot of people who do things better than I do. And you know, for example, on socials for for in, in marketing and and you know, we wouldn't be talking today if, if it wasn't for that team. So I'm just a guy who picks the guitar and sing and, and try to make sure that everybody's having a good time. But um, I I, um, I owe those people a great lot. That's for sure. Hey, they they allow you to focus more on the music, right? Oh yeah, they certainly do. Yeah. And we appreciate them greatly for that. And one thing that we also appreciate greatly is the ability to return to live music. And you yourself, sir, have had the ability to return to that live stage. So what has it been like to get out there, uh, create some good with your music? Oh, man, it's like a breath of fresh air. You, you, you. You just realize that's well. I mean, I can only talk for myself, but it's just it's just so clear that I'm doing it for for life for live moments and to be on the road. Like it's 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 cool to do virtual shows and and to like and, and do all of those things. But, but there's nothing like you know getting in the car and the bus in the morning and hitting the road and. and Getting to meet the people and 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 see their faces in the crowd, there's there's just nothing like it, and and God knows we're we're happy and we're privileged to be doing this job and to live those moments. So, thank you for everybody who's making it possible again. You know, it's it's a tough industry, and there's a lot of people work again working behind the scenes everywhere, and so um, yeah, just just a big 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 hug to everybody who's uh making it possible again and for for the fans and for the the you know the music consumers who are who are out there and 
you know, who, who keep believing in their artists and keep supporting them. It wouldn't be possible without, without everybody. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, simple, simple answer. Thank you. <laughs> Mad love to fans too, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And of course, with live shows, maybe comes a little bit of nerves, especially after uh, some time away from the stage. So before Tommy Charles hits the stage, does he have a uh, pre-game routine, a pre-show uh, set list that he likes to do to get himself ready? I know some singers like to keep quiet before they get on the stage. They like to like they want to man- they want to like preserve their voice, save their voice for the for the show, or they want to get into like some kind of focus, but myself, I, I prefer to, to, I prefer to start playing and start having fun right before getting on stage. So I like to grab my guitar. I like to, if there's, you know, I like to sing with the band just to warm up a little and, to, you know, not take ourselves too seriously and maybe try some, some harmonies to do, to, you know, jam a little just to get, you know, in, in the mood for, for the main party. So that's, that's, that's usually what I do. I, if I'm, if I'm solo, I just grab my guitar and, you know, play a song that doesn't have anything to do with the show, but just get me in the mood. That's that way. So work the bugs out, uh, get in the flow. And like you said, have a little bit of fun with it too. So when you hit the stage, you're ready. Exactly. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Tommy, I have had a blast here today diving behind the road to this upcoming single. I have one last question for you. Are you ready for it? Go ahead. All right. So, of course, like I just mentioned, we have talked about the road to this single, finally getting it released. What I would like to know now is through this time, through this process, how has it helped you to grow as a person or what has it taught you about yourself? Oh man. I think for me the the lesson here is to always have faith to let go. So it's faith is to be open to to whatever can happen. And when that song came into my life, I was uh I wasn't expecting it at all. When when I got the phone call, I was I was over it, kind of, almost. And so it came out of nowhere, and then it changed my life. And so for me, it's to like let go of things you, you cannot change. So I had to let go of music for some time and work a day job and kind of recycle myself into something else. But then life sent something else my way, and now here I am. And so, uh, you know, like let go of things you can, you can control. and have faith and, and, and be grateful for, for, for the good stuff that comes your way. You know, that's, that's, that's really it for me. So yeah, looking like that is a, is a story of, um, of gratitude for me. It's the beginning of something great. Yeah. Hey, Hey, I like that. The beginning of something great. And I cannot wait to see where this song and the rest of your career continues to carry you tommy thank you so very much for joining us here today on the dtp thanks a lot